Hi! Our topic for today is three calculus and it's about conic sections. If we have a right cone and we pass a plane through it, we can form a conic section. If the plane is perpendicular to the axis of the cone, we can form a circle. If the plane is slightly tilted, the result will be an ellipse. If the plane is parallel to the side or on one element of the cone, we can form a parabola. If the plane is parallel to the axis of the cone and it cuts both extensions, we can form a hyperbola. This is the general equation of a conic section. If b is not equal to zero, the principal axis of the conic is not parallel with the x and y axis. Given the equation of the curve, we can easily identify the type of conic by using the determinant b squared minus 4ac. If the determinant is less than 0, the conic is an ellipse. If it will be equal to 0, the conic is a parabola. And finally, if it is greater than 0, the conic is a hyperbola. If b is equal to 0, the principal axis of the conic are parallel to the x and y axis. By comparing the coefficients a and c, we can determine the type of conic. If they are equal, it is a circle. If they are not equal but have the same sign, the conic is an ellipse. But if a and c have different signs, the conic is a hyperbola. And if a or c is equal to zero, it is a parabola. Let us now apply what we've learned by identifying the type of conic defined by the following equations. Let us consider the general equation of the conic section, then compare natin sa bawat equation na meron tayo to determine type of the conic. So notice na sa bawat equation natin, wala yung term na x, y, therefore b is equal to 0. So ang i-compare na lang natin is yung coefficient a and coefficient c. Hindi na tayo gagamit ng discriminant. a is the coefficient of x squared and c is the coefficient of y squared. Consider natin si question number 1. a is equal to 1 while c is equal to 1. They are of the same signs and equal sila, therefore this is a circle. Number 2, a is equal to 1 but c is equal to 0. Wala tayong term na y squared. Kung wala yung a or wala si c, this will represent a parabola. Number 3, a is equal to 9 but c is equal to 25. Pareho sila ng sign pero hindi sila equal. So, this represents an ellipse. And lastly, a is equal to 9, but c is equal to negative 25. So, hindi sila equal. Tapos, magkaiba pa sila ng sign. Therefore, this represents a hyperbola. I hope you all learned something today. Paalam, galingan lagi, at huwag kakalimutang mag-like and subscribe sa Math 101.